Uh, now that the soffits are done, we're on to a new project. We're going to try and get all of the, since we have the lifts here still, we're going to try and get all of the gable end stuff, uh, the front porch and the north and south gable end. Uh, we're going to try and get the siding on that uh, before I have to return this lift. All the other stuff can be done by uh, ladder, uh, the rest of the house for siding, but uh, we'll get onto that at a later project. Right now it's trying to utilize the time we have with this lift here and uh, get some of the get some of the stuff done up above. Before we continue on, I'd like to ask you to like and subscribe to these videos. Uh, it really does help the channel out. We're slowly growing little by little, uh, and it does uh, it does mean a lot to have you uh, support the channel as much as you do. So please remember to like and subscribe, and we will uh, continue to do uh, projects here on the farm and see if what uh, about sharing that with y'all. Anyway, <clears throat> what I did was I went ahead, and if you can see this right here, I put a starter strip up all the way across. It's a two inch starter strip. So that when we put our first row of siding on, uh, it kind of juts out. It doesn't just sit flat. And so uh, we'll get that constant taper as we go all the way up the, uh, the side here. <clears throat> the other thing that we're doing is we're going to do one 18 foot, a 12 foot, an 8 foot, and then a 4 foot. And so that we get a mixed seam uh, throughout the thing instead of having one single seam. It'll give us a, a better look. We did that on the shop and I like the look of it. So we'll... We'll get busy doing this here, but we'll go ahead and get our first uh, first row up. That's The first row is always the trickiest one. Uh, make sure that thing is le level and even. And then from there, uh, we've got some uh, devices that we use to uh, to maintain the gap or the distance between the, the siding um, and also to hold it since it's on only one guy. As to the device I'm using, it's called the Gecko Gauge. And what it does is, uh, as you can see, this part right here slides under the siding. And then you use this right here to clamp it down. And then you set your next set of siding up on top of this. Uh, they use two of these things and spread them out so that you can uh, hold the boards up as you're, uh, as you're making sure everything's level and then doing all your nailing. So great, uh, great invention. I got it off of uh, Amazon. And uh, I recommend it if you've got to do any siding to, to go ahead and get these. It's a lifesaver. Two rows, like I said, I got an 18, a 12, an 8, and a 4. And we'll stagger those up all the way up as we go. <clears throat> I forgot how painstaking this is to make sure that uh, you're lining up on the edges, you know, and it's going to taper up and get smaller as we go up. So uh, I forgot how tough these gable ends are versus just siding the flats of the house. But we're making good progress. So we've, like I said, we got our three starters on, and now we'll start uh, connecting all the rest. I just got to get this back measurement over here and uh, get that bottom row done, and then we should be able to start slowly moving up the moving up the peak here. But we're we're getting there. Well, had kind of slow progress on day one here, but that's uh, that's to be expected. You got to cut custom cut each end of these to make them fit, and then trying to measure it makes it a little bit a uh, little bit of a long process for one person. But we're getting closer. I uh, like the look of it. It's going to be pretty slick once it's done. Uh, I'll be back at it tomorrow, and we'll uh, we will get at, get at the top of this and get this one done. But it's uh, it's good to have uh, have this done so far. Well, it's the next day and I, uh, I already at it, <clears throat> trying to beat the heat a little bit. It's already about 68 degrees and uh, about 11 o'clock in the morning. So it's going to be a warm one, which is unusual for this time of year. But 
you know, I'm making the best of it. I've got my shirt on right now it's just so I don't get uh, crispy. All I have left to do, I managed to get all this done here. All I have left to do is the peak right there, and then we are done with the with this part of the porch, and then we'll move to the gable end of the house on the south side and start uh, start working on that. But we'll get this done, and then we'll start making our moves. All right, with that done now, I'm gonna go ahead and I've got the caulking gun. I'm gonna caulk all the seams there and get all this done. That way it's already prepped and done. I don't have to get back up there with the ladder. At least it'll make it uh, somewhat decent and done. Well, that went pretty smooth. Got that done. Now this side is complete and ready to be painted, uh, which is a big, uh, big step towards uh, what we're doing. So anyway, we'll move this lift over to the south side of the house and start working on those gable ends. <clears throat> all right. Well, we've got the lift all set up. I'm working on the south side gable end. The first thing I've got to do is I've got a template cut. I got to see if this is the right pitch for this. Uh, angle and we'll double check that and set our uh, template up uh, so that way we can just continue to work but we'll get uh, we'll get up there and get our measurements done for the template all right well I've got my template cut out for the angle and we'll use this for fitting all the other boards uh, next up I've got to put is the uh, two inch of uh, starter strip along this uh, rim board uh, so that we can get going I've got those vent caps uh, I got to compensate for so I got a little bit of trickery there and then we're gonna have to custom cut that uh, first uh, 14 footer uh, to match those uh, those wells, but uh, we'll get to that in a minute. Let's get the two inch uh, two inch uh, starter strip up.
riding on the lift. I was born for this. <laughs> Well, this work is certainly cumbersome. I mean, each one of these edges has to be cut to the right angle and the length, and it's uh, it's proven to take quite a bit for one person to do these upper gable ends. So I'm really glad I took this on now uh, while I have a lift here, because the idea of trying to do this from the ladder is just off the charts. <laughs> anyway, we'll uh, keep at it. We just have uh, this upper peak to go, and then we're done with this side. We'll be two thirds done with all of the gable ends again the back side of the house here i will not be able to get to um because i gotta do siding from the bottom all the way up and i don't have the two back decks in so that makes it almost impossible to to line that out evenly and get that done but <clears throat> we'll have to do that from the ladder it's going to be a little painful but we'll get to that a little bit later anyway we'll keep on with this and i will uh show you when this is done well as you can see i've got this entire uh south gable end done that was a uh, lot of work, believe it or not. It is uh, <clears throat> it is something else to do that. The lower section is going to be easy because that's all straight straight runs. But boy, that when you're working at these with these angles and all that, and <clears throat> up at the heights with those uh, uh, gecko grips, there uh, makes it a challenge. But anyway, we're done with this side. I've got everything. Like I said, I've got everything up there. I've got everything. All the seams caulked, and it is uh, that upper side is ready for paint, which is uh, which is big. And now we're gonna go ahead and move this thing over to the other side of the house, to the north side. Um, it'll be a little bit better on me tomorrow uh, to do this uh, because that side has shade most of the day, which is good because this side has the most sun and I've been getting cooked since early this morning. That's why I have a long sleeve shirt on, is to keep from getting uh, too brown at, w at once. It's unseasonably warm. It's about 81 degrees, which is kind of weird, hopefully. We're supposed to drop down to normal spring temperatures here pretty soon, but that'll be something else when we get it. Anyway, we'll get this uh, we'll get this contraption moved, and then we will move on to the other side. Well, I set this thing up at an angle to get this side of the house first, the, the corner, because uh, like I said, I've got this deep hole right here for the water lines and some other just electrical stuff I need to do. Uh, so this way I can get uh, this corner of the house done first and then I'll work towards the middle and then uh, then I'll move, remove it, reposition the lift to, uh, to handle what we need to. But uh, we're gonna save that for tomorrow. Uh, it's been a long day in the heat and uh, I'm ready to call it. All right, well, I am back at it today. We're gonna do this north gable end, try and get this done. Uh, this is, I'd like to say I'd get it done in a day, but this is a two day process, I think, to get it done. So we'll get all this gable end done, and then we, uh, we'll move on to other exciting projects, I think. But we'll uh, get started with this this morning and see if we can get this cranked on and get it done. Well, it took me a little bit to figure out the pattern and the angle for this like i said i wished everything was even and you know but it's building and so it's uh everything's got to be particular and so uh, it took me a few minutes to figure this out but now i've got the uh got the pattern that i need and we'll uh, start working on laying our first boards down uh i'm going to use again 16 feet 12 and 8 and a 4 and then we'll just stagger and it'll give that staggered pattern in the seams rather than have one long seam or have uneven seams. We'll make it look uh, uniform anyway. So we'll go ahead and get this first one up and uh, we'll go from there. Again, these first two, the first row goes on pretty easy, but the second one, the 12 foot one, is a little bit wonkier because I can't use the gecko, those little green gecko grips uh, in there because I can't, can't get them underneath between the uh, rim board here and the, and the uh, siding. So. Uh, that 12 footer is a little bit wonky to get that one straight exactly. We'll have to do that with the level in by eyesight. And then after that, it gets a little easier. Well, it's supposed to be anyway.
Well, I got as far as I'm gonna get on this side with the lift here. I need to actually reposition it so I can start working on that side into the center here and then up. Uh, so we'll get this uh, repositioned and get back on it. Shouldn't take too long, but it's still, it's a matter of pain in the ass to try and move this thing around, but it's getting there. We'll uh, get it moved. Well, I've been covering some pretty good ground. I just have this last little section to do here, and then we're done with the siding for this uh, north side gable end. So we'll get busy on getting that done, and then uh, next up after that, we'll be caulking all the seams. But let's uh, let's get to finishing this off. Well, there we go. That was a good bit of push to get that done. We're uh, towards the end of today, and so I'm going to knock it off for today, and we'll come back tomorrow and finish caulking all this in and uh, finish this off. All in all, pretty good day. We're not so now we are all done with all three sides that I needed to get done with the lift here. Uh, we've got that done and the uh, main window in. So the lift has definitely paid for itself. And then again on this uh, side here, the back side of the house, I can't do that until we get the decks in and all that. But anyway, we'll get at this uh, tomorrow and pick it back up with uh, caulking the seams. Well, it's a new day. We had uh, some severe thunderstorms late yesterday and uh, into this morning, so it blew over all my saw horses and everything. It was pretty powerful winds, but luckily all of my uh, work uh, held tight, which is a good sign. That means I did proper nailing and all that it looks uh, looks pretty nice. So the last step I have on this gable end here uh, to finish up the high side stuff that I wanted to uh, is to go ahead and caulk all these seams. So I'll get busy at that and we'll get that uh, get that completed. There we go. We've got all of the caulking done. All the seams are caulked and uh, I filled them along the uh, belly board as well. Uh, so we have a seamless thing there when I paint. It'll look, uh, look really nice. Uh, this is going to be probably a little bit different color tan and then the uh, belly boards and all of the corner trims will be uh, white and we'll go back. We'll paint all this stuff. We'll do the shop and the house all at one time. Uh, we get to the painting later on this year. We'll have to wait and see how that goes. Anyway, we got this completed. It was a lot of work. These uh, gable ends usually are, and uh, I found that out with the shop, especially having to do that with the ladder. That was a tremendous amount of work on the shop. I'm so grateful to have had this lift here to uh, help me with uh, with this because the idea of doing this whole monster thing with the ladder just uh, wasn't going to happen. So it was worth the investment to, to get the little lift. And uh, now we'll uh, work, start working on some other projects around here. Anyway, I appreciate you taking the time to watch this. Uh, if you like these type of videos, please remember to like and subscribe. It really does help the channel. We're growing slowly, uh, but I love, uh, I love all the, uh, fact that uh, we've got so many people that are starting to join on board and, uh, please make sure to leave some comments. I love getting them anyway. Thanks for watching.